Welp. It is official. Julius Randle, despite trying to come back the last two months after he dislocated his right shoulder against the Miami Heat on January 27th, shout out to Jaime Jaquez, he is electing to undergo season-ending surgery, and he will try to be ready for the start of the 2024-2025 season. Adrian Wojnarowski was the first to report it this morning. He is saying breaking after two months of rehabilitation to attempt a return to the New York Knicks, all NBA forward Julius Randle will undergo season ending right shoulder surgery. Also added that Randle, who's been out since dislocating this shoulder on January 27th, had been relentlessly rehabilitating to resume play prior to the playoffs, but doctors warned him that this shoulder's continued instability made it unsafe for him to play again this season. He also added that Randle's done everything possible to avoid surgery and return for the playoffs but procedure became an increasingly inevitably after recent visits to two specialists who warned of for further injury and possible permanent damage to his shoulder if he returned to play before a surgical procedure so there's the news of the day julius randall Tried to come back. I applaud him for doing so. Always has that warrior-like mentality. Didn't want to have ankle surgery last year after he was hurt against the Miami Heat. What do you know? Another season ended for Randall by an injury on maybe a dirty play against the Miami Heat. But Julius Randall is going to be out for the remainder of the season despite coming back, trying to come back. And it stinks. And today kind of fell, feels like a gut punch. And it kind of feels like you wake up and... Maybe reality is staring you in the face for the New York Knicks. Uh, we'll talk more about that around the corner. But first, let's just show our guy Julius Randle some love. Drop a 30 in the comment section for me. I know there's a lot of people that have certain feelings about Randle and the player and the playoffs, and everybody is entitled to that. But I think that we should all acknowledge and appreciate the effort, the work, and the pain tolerance that he has put in over the last two months to try to come back and help the New York Knicks once playoff time um, got here, which we are just less than two, three weeks away from that. He could have easily elected to just get surgery on January 27th, thrown in the white towel, and said, I'll see you boys back in September of next year. But he did everything he could. And that's all you can ask of Randall, in my opinion. Um, Credit to him. It stinks. I feel horrible for him. Uh, Ian Begley is reporting that Randall is extremely upset by the news. Um, this stinks. This is, this is a brutal blow for the New York Knicks. Begley says Julius Randall is sad to be devastated. Uh, is, is said to be devastated, excuse me, about not being able to return, particularly because he knows how well they were playing after the OG and Anobi trade. Uh, one medical fear was Randall could permanently damage his shoulder <clears throat> if he did return. <sighs> this one stinks. Um, it feels like the season almost has just been snatched from you uh, due to injury. Once again, as my camera is unfocused, so I'm going to try to get that focus for all you guys. Um, this stinks. It, it, it does. It, it always felt like if the New York Knicks were able to get fully healthy, you get back OG and Anobi, you get back Mitchell Robinson, you get back Julius Randle, you were really going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the Eastern Conference. And that's just a testament to how special and talented of a player Randle has been, despite not being even close to the player uh, that he has shown in the regular season, that he has been in the postseason. And there was a lot riding on this postseason for Randall. I'm not going to rule out that this is the last game that Julius Randall has ever played for the New York Knicks. Um, I don't think that that is an unlikely outcome. I'm not going to sit here and say Randall is an injury-prone player, but he's now had three major injuries in his NBA career. The first one, very fluky as a member of the Lakers in the first game he ever played as a rookie. Snapped his leg. And then he had this injury against the Miami Heat last year where he needed ankle surgery. And now he has this injury again against the Miami Heat where he's going to need shoulder surgery. So that's three major injuries that have ended Julius Randle's season. But on top of that, this was a season where Leon Rose... I feel like was going to have to project after the year and decide the path that this team was going to take. And 
I think there is a very strong likelihood that Leon Rose will look to travel a path as the general manager and the builder of this New York Knicks roster that does not involve Julius Randle going forward. There were reports coming out of last year's postseason that, that, that the team and the organization felt that that was the peak that that current team with RJ and Randle and Brunson and Quickly could reach. Does this team feel like they can win a championship with Julius Randle? I'm not sure what the answer is to that, but that will be a question that Leon Rose will ask um, to Gerson Rosas, to Worldwide Wesley, and they will make a decision on Randle, and I would not be shocked if he has played his last game. I'll ask you, has Julius Randle played his last game as a member of the New York Knicks? I want you to predict it for me. Type Y for yes, type N for no. I want to hear from you down in the comment section. I literally woke up to a call of Julius Randle being out for the year. So pretty unfortunate way uh, to wake up this morning. So my eyes are still kind of low and uh, not all that excited. Probably shouldn't be, but had a feeling that this was coming. Uh, I had mentioned it on the last couple of shows that it did not sound good for Randle and it stinks. I feel horrible for him. I feel horrible for his family. I feel horrible for everybody on the Knicks medical staff and everybody on this team that was hoping and depending on him to come back. Not going to happen. Maybe the clock has just struck midnight on the New York Knicks. We'll talk about today's game around the corner. We'll update you on the standings and try to break down what this team will need to do if they want to make some Make some noise in the playoffs. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS. And Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app, will hook you up with a 100% deposit bonus. Put 100 bucks in your account and they'll match that with $100. It's free. It's, uh, it's, it's free to download. It does cost to play. It's very fun and it's exciting. And you can turn your basketball knowledge into Dollars. Now's the time to play with the action in the NBA heating up. The playoffs just a couple of weeks away. And the final four for both the men's and the women's college basketball tournament will get underway this weekend. So if you haven't yet, get hooked up with Prize Picks. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. The more players you have in your entry, the higher your payout will be. It's fun, it's exciting, and it makes games a whole lot more fun. We'll have a lineup for tonight's game. We'll share that in our pregame show. Make sure you subscribe and tune in. But get hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. So let's face the music. Let's, let's, let's take our medicine right here. The New York Knicks are not getting Julius Randle back this year. So, what does that mean? Right now, the New York Knicks sit in the fifth spot in the Eastern Conference at 44 and 31. They are a they are two games up on the Miami Heat, who are in the sixth seed. They are a half game back of the Orlando Magic, who are in the fourth seed, and they are a game back of the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are in the three seed. So everything that they want to accomplish when it comes to seeding, which is hosting a first-round playoff series at Madison Square Garden, if there is a Game 7. Sorry, I got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus. It's been a brutal morning. Got my allergies acting up. Randall's out. Today sucks. Um, yeah. So you are just two losses behind the Milwaukee Bucks who have 29 losses in that two spot. But... Uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm not restarting the video. This is just where we're at at this point. Um, <laughs> you got a tough game against Sacramento tonight. Then you got Chicago. Then you got Milwaukee. Then you got Chicago again. Then you got Boston. Then you got Brooklyn and Chicago. You got Chicago three times in nine days. That's going to be tough. Um, I don't know. My confidence is not nearly as high for this basketball team as it has been in the past couple of months. Has This is the lowest it's been this season. But you go out and you beat Sacramento tonight, then you go beat Chicago, you got two games in a row, and then maybe you can beat the Milwaukee Bucks. Going to be tough, no doubt about it, um, but it's not easy. Nothing's easy in this league. Um, you want to do things in the playoffs you haven't done since 2000, 1972? 
You're going to have to do some tough team things, and you're going to have to beat some tough teams. And now you're just going to have to do it without Julius Randle. Will OG and an OB come back? I don't know. <laughs> I would assume he does, but I'm not all that optimistic. Uh, I believe he will. I think he does. I think he returns maybe the last couple games of the regular season, or you just keep him in bubble wrap to the playoffs. I'm fine with that as well. Uh, I don't think he needs a long runway of games to get ready and get rocking and rolling for the playoffs. Uh, he plays defense better than anybody in this league, and he did so with one arm against the Kings. He did so with one arm against the Blazers. I'm fine with that. But now you're asking Jalen Brunson to, to be a 1A, and, and I believe he can be that. A lot more food just got added to his plate. He needs to go out and eat. He does. Uh, brutal blow. But an opportunity for Jalen Brunson to once again show everybody in the world that he can do things that no one else believes he can. I believe in Jalen Brunson. I wouldn't rather have anybody else on my team than Jalen Brunson. He's got to go out and do it, though. He's, he's the face of the organization. Every game plan from now until the start of the season next year, the first line will be stopping Jalen Brunson. No more Randall. He's got to do it. Hopefully you can put it into drive and get this thing going and get it back on track. Randall, out for the year. Very, very devastating. Drop those 30s in the chat. And make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. We'll be live on the channel as the Knicks do play the Kings tonight. Let's get a win. Let's get back right on track. And let's get going as the playoffs are just two weeks away. Subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's go Knicks.